Hello, this is Carol at mysitewizard.org. Today's tutorial is in uploading photos. We're going to look at several displays, how to actually upload the image from two different areas, and how to change uh, the effects. Some neat ones, some you might find kind of corny. Okay, here's the first display, a slideshow. If you can upload your photos to your website, you can create a slideshow or a small collage of photos which have a nice frame. I really like this one because visitors can get involved by clicking on them. So that's pretty neat. Let's get to work. On your trial site that you might be using, there may be photos that are not appropriate for your website. So what we want to do first of all is to get rid of it. Here's one. Click on it once, go up to the garbage bin which is our delete button, click on it once, and then confirm that's the image that you want to delete. And it's gone. Now we're going to insert a photo from my computer. So we're going to upload an image. And in the pop-up we want to add a file to our file manager. And now we're in my computer. I'm going to choose this image by double-clicking on it. And now I'm going to choose to upload it to the file manager, which it's doing now. I want to find it in the file manager and here it is. Double click and this is just great in this program mysitewizard.org is that it shows you the actual image so you're not wasting time and uploading once in error. A couple things that we can do here, well you saw me moving it around just click on it once, you can drag and drop it change dimensions like this or hold the overall dimensions but just reduce them. Or what we can do is use the editor. I want you to notice here we have a small lock which locks or relates the width to the height. So if I may want to make it a lot smaller you see how the height and the width are the same. I'm going to make this larger again and now I can unlock it if I want to disassociate that relationship. If you look at the image you'll see how that works. But for newbies, hey, use this function of just pulling it down. Now what we're going to do is look at a couple different things to do with it. So uh, I'm going to delete it. Actually what we're going to do is show you how to insert an image from the existing library. I'm in my file manager now. I'm going to the library. I'm going down to images and I'm going to choose this great one. It is a baby. Mostly feet though. I'm going to use this one. I am now going to get out of the file manager by clicking here. Here we have the babe. And I am going to use my editor and reduce this down to about 40. Drag and drop down. Freehand. Make it larger. And there we go. So now we are going to try a couple of uh, techniques. I'm going to delete the babe and go to insert image library. And into the library we are going to look at image tools. This is also where I would go if I wanted to uh, create the function of a pop-up gallery and a slideshow. But right now we're going to use image effects. We're going to use this one. Now this creates the wrap. I get out of this by clicking here. Creates the wrap or the envelope into which I place my image. I go back to my editor. I choose an image. I'm just going to choose the fruit here. And now just look over here and see what happens. What's cool about this is that you get to review the images. This is a fade quite lovely. A fly, which sort of reminds me of old-fashioned PowerPoint presentation. You can make a comment about that one. And pixel. I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to apply this. Now where I can actually see this, I have to change from my editor. I have to click on view. So I'm clicking on view now. Of course it's going to ask me if I want to save the image nice safety tool there and let's see what happens. 
OK. Now we're going to try something else, which is a cropping tool. Again, Insert, Image, Library. In the File Manager, we choose Library. And we're going to go down to Crop Tools. You'll see a whole bunch here. And what we're going to do, see them all? And try them out. I am looking for the Polaroid one. OK, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to now get out of this. Again, I have my wrap here. And I'm going to use my editor to choose an image. I'm going to go into the library, down to Images. And I am going to choose a beach couple. Here they are. I'm going to use this one. And here they are. Now, let's look at some neat things here. In the editor, you can see that we have this little rotation device. It allows me to rotate the image. Grab one of the corners and rotate. OK. And what I'm wanting to do now is add uh, some text to choose the title text rather than the body text here. And then what I'm going to do, and the reason for that you choose the title one, is that you can rotate that. OK, I'm going to take this, I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. Just make it a little bit straighter, and there you go. So we have done a couple of things here, and uh, I hope you've learned from some of these. We've done all of this. I hope you'll join me again on MySiteWizard.org for some more tutorials. Please rate me. Uh, the, this teacher loves to hear from the students. And if you have some messages, you can always go to MySiteWizard.org forward slash blog and ask me for a different um, video. Okay, that's cool. Have a great life. Bye.